Hey, what's up? What's going on? Glad to be here as always. Well, today what I have for you is a quick tutorial. We're going to learn how to use Rufus. Rufus is a great tool to be able to go ahead and create bootable USB drives. And uh, it, it comes in really handy when you're trying to reimage a computer. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. All right. All right. So what we do is just uh, scroll down right here on the Rufus page. Rufus Rufus. And you select that one right there. So as of today, April 26, 2020, this is the latest version, Rufus 3.10. And it's very, very light. It's portable version. So you just click right there. There you have it. It's going to download. I already have this right here. And you're also going to need a USB drive, which I already have inserted into my machine right here. All right. Okay, so now we have our USB. This particular USB is 15 gigs. And you need, right after we get a Rufus, then we're finally going to need an ISO image. And there's a lot of places where you can get ISO images. You can go ahead and go to this site right here. There's a lot of uh, ISO images that you can get from there. Or you can go straight into the Microsoft page right here you can download Windows 10 Windows 8.1 and as well as Windows 7 okay and yes all of these are official operating systems from Microsoft so I really recommend this site right here okay so let's say if you want to go ahead and download Windows 10 select that and then just go ahead and uh, select the download tool now if you, if you don't have the ISO image all right so same thing you know with these if you want to download a previous version of windows 8.1 or 7. all right so now we have our usb drive this particular one's a 15 gig before you do anything what you want to do is format the drive it doesn't matter if you don't have anything make sure the quick format is selected it's going to give you a warning message click ok then that's going to take probably, if you have some files in there, it may probably take a little longer. But uh, it wouldn't take long at all. Probably like 30 seconds to a minute or a couple minutes or so. Something like that. There we go. Okay, so after we format our drive, what you want to do is probably rename it. You know, just put anything. No, just put Lewis. And uh, this one's all set. All right. Now we come over here to Rufus, and you right-click. You run it as an administrator. Okay, and this is where we're gonna do the magic right here. By default, it should already have your USB drive selected. See, in this case, we named ours Lewis. So there we go, 16 gigs. And then this is where you're gonna go ahead and click. To go ahead and load your uh, your ISO image, you click on select. There we go. And you go ahead and double click, and it's already there. You see, now it's you leave that one by default right there. Standard Windows installation. Now this this is uh, where you have to be careful because there's a couple of options right here. GPT and MBR. MBR, it's is more of an older type of version of uh, BIOS. So, for example, if your laptop or your machine, if you had it for probably like six to seven years or something like that, then you need to pick that one, the MBR version which stands you know the technical meaning of that it's master boot record and pretty much the disc you know they use a standard bios partition table and uh but if you have a newer machine use that one right there gpt and see how it changes the, you know the bios version to ufi 
and uh, GPT stands for GUID partition table so pretty much if you're if you have an older type of machine pick that one MBR if you have a new machine GPT no no straggles you know it's gonna be pretty simple all right and then you come down here volume label that that's just pretty much indicating what you selected right here and then just leave that one right there by default and then you go ahead and click on start and it's gonna start loading your ISO image into your USB drive it's gonna give you that message click OK all right so it's copying the uh, ISO file into the USB drive so it's pretty much getting there now all right so we are all set once you get this right here where it says ready and it's green then that's it you can just go ahead and click on close after that okay so after you clicked on close you come over here this is the USB drive right here this is where you're able to see the bootable file your operating system ready to boot now depending on the maker of your machine you're probably gonna have to press either F2 F10 or F12 and you know just kind of Google how to access your BIOS of your machine then after that just go to the boot options make sure you select USB you should be able to load out of this right here your USB then that should be it you should be able to start loading your operating system into the machine so if you get stuck or if you need any help you know don't hesitate to go ahead and uh, leave a comment I'll go ahead and answer you back as always and uh, it's been a pleasure so thanks a lot for watching you guys and uh, take care out there peace out I'll see you in the next video